Playing cricket came about somebody asking me to join the disability team and at the time I never classed myself with a disability. It took me two years to get involved and when I did I really enjoyed it and, and it's obviously we've gone from strength to strength. Ten years ago May gone, uh, went to work on a building site, a lorry came in to unload some stuff on a slope and before I knew where it was I was trapped underneath this 30 tonne lorry. Uh, waiting for paramedics and ambulances to come and fire brigade to come and release me. Flown to Selig Hospital, uh, spent 28 days in hospital and rehab. Obviously learning how to walk and that again, so yeah, it was a bit of a mind-blowing, really. <laughs> the accident changed my life by oh, learning how to walk again. Family-wise, it changed because I couldn't do anything, go anywhere do anything with them. The wife didn't drive, so it was always about relying on other people to come and visit me in hospital and do things for me. A friend of mine came and visited me in hospital and uh, he said, I've been in touch with a solicitor by the name of Neil Lorimer. So when I first met him, it was someone you could just take to. He was one of them chaps that if he wanted something, he'd go and get it, especially with this. And this became one of the biggest cases in uh, London Bowler's history for amputees. Everything he, had, he said he'd get me, he got me. I wanted for nothing really. He got people on the case. I had a case manager that was dealing with uh, my health. Obviously when I had my teeth knocked out, she, she came and sorted all that out and got me other bits and bobs I needed. Obviously interim payments came into it. I got money, Neil got me money for a new car. It was like I had me money for teeth to be done. And, uh, so everything I needed helped, helped my life a little bit easier. They were there, they were just there for me to be honest. Talking to Neil, it was one of the quickest cases they had for a payout uh, from, from start to finish. It took, I think, it was less than two years. Landon Blade were very sensitive. When they spoke, it, was, it wasn't like, to the point it was like, how do you feel about what we're doing for you? How do things going with your leg and, and things like that? So they were really sensitive and they wouldn't push it too far. You know, if, if they come to the house and I had enough, it was that, we'll leave it at that and we'll come back another day. I would recommend land, landing barrier, yeah, for things like that, because they were very high level in what they did, and, and again, what they said they were going to get you, they got you. Yeah, and I would recommend them to, a, to anybody. I still do now if people say where you're best place to go, and I said, go and speak to Landon Bowler and, you know, tell him I called you so I might get a bit of <laughs>